absolutely a wired. She's just her. as excited as a mummy. Thanks. Welcome to this. I don't know. Does she think she's at lot. Morton again? Yeah. She looks like she could do her acrobatics tied she's to the She's going to show us um, what she did in the field the what other day. What her tummy looks like. Yeah. Um, oh no, oh, food. food. <laughs> so, to be continued, as uh, you would have seen in the last vlog that was uploaded on Tuesday, I'm not quite sure when this is going to get up because we're going to Olympia. Olympia so. you mentioned it. Yeah, not at all. <laughs> but we have come to an indoor school where there's lights and we are working out how long ago. So It was a Friday, wasn't it? Yes. It's the 22nd of March. 22nd of March. You, you went may to remember. Bridge. Thank you. We went to <laughs> Ivy Bridge. <laughs> we did. Mum came along as well. And I was trying out some new saddles. I fell in love with the K2 jump saddle from Albion. Wait. I've already got the K2 Legend dressage saddle. And I've had that now probably two, years. three years. Absolutely right. love it. That was back in March. It's now... December. It's been a long time. I've been a saving. Lot happened since then. Yes, I have been saving up my pennies, um, and then I've had discussions with Albion. I met the lovely Anna up at Burley, sat in their new K3 jump saddle that came out in September, which is mono flat close from Taft, isn't it? It is. It's <laughs> and lush. highly customizable. Yes. <laughs> it can be like this on the side. <laughs> sat in one on a stand up at Burley um, but I love the K2 how secure it made me feel in the saddle when I was jumping a jump and how much she could move her shoulders <laughs> I'm just trotting here <laughs> how much she could move her shoulders in it as well wasn't it it's was so unrestricted yeah for her. fitted her lovely just like her dress up saddle so I am meeting the lovely Nina I've never met Nina before um, but she is from down here she is a Albion stockist and she's going to be arriving shortly to fit Lola and myself. We're the two. <laughs> Literally, I've been going around saying that this week is my Christmas week. Yeah. Um, and it really, really is. I am absolutely over, over the moon and so excited. And I think Lola is too. <laughs> we record it every time we see you the reason why i record it every time we see you is so that if we start to get a change through templates we can start telling you how your muscle tone starts changing um and also things for like being able to go back to lauren and say you know say if she's dropped slightly through so we start next time the template i say when this starts to get a bit deeper we can go to lauren actually why where is she sore and also we're the only person that templates your horses yeah, so I'm the only one that can tell you when things are changing. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I tend to get each her weight eight in centimetres. Two centimetres is a, is a width change. Ah, oh, interesting. Which isn't actually that much. No, it's no, not. No, not at all, no. I didn't even, yeah. I didn't even think about that, like, between summer and winter yeah. sort of thing. It's a bit like you fluffing up pillows every now and again, yeah. what should lay, what should lay on them. Um, and also the flocking can tell us again how wonky your horse or your rider is with how it settles. Ah. Oh. Or rider is. Or rider is, yes. <laughs> so, uh, Are you watching? Are you watching and learning too? <laughs> so, oh, interesting. I'm going to make you nice and comfy, Lola. Yes. <laughs> How does it feel? Feels higher here. Yeah, I feel like I'm I'm in it. It feels really yeah. so we've got to see you a little bit low in front, so basically you're just being tipped forward, so you're then having to work harder on your core to get you back upright. Yeah. 
So basically, I've just gone from that and I've just done that with you. It's instantly done yes. that. Uh, you like your legs look longer. Yeah. You feel like you're sat <laughs> in it. So you can sit to really then work. Yeah. Like riding. Are you right handed? Yes. Are you very right side dominant? Mm. Do you know? Uh, yeah, probably. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Just going to say I am on it. Sit that way. Do I? Okay. Yeah. So you just right. put more weight through your right side. Okay. Um, which is just a pond that all riders do. Yeah. And it's just something to do with it. Where it works. Yeah, it's not a huge amount, but she seems very, um, she, she seems like she feels you really easily. So I think a shift of your weight right. would really make a big effect, difference. Make, yeah, mm. her, somebody else might not think blind is a bit different, yeah. but for her, she seems like she really notices that. Yes. Because obviously a demo is more to <laughs> It's just like stitches and everything, isn't it? Oh, and it's got glitter at the back as well. Yeah, and it's got painted. Beautiful. I have got a longer girth. <laughs> <laughs> I have got a big belly. Like I prefer having longer girth, and then I like having the buckles above the elbows. Okay. Stop. Let me elbow back. Yeah. back. If you buckle them down here. Actually, feel their elbows touch the buckles. Ah, so, would you higher. say on my dress or saddle that they were Personally, a bit low? I would go a bit yeah. higher, yeah, yeah. A bit higher. Would, yeah. Oh, okay, that's good to know. I would. Useful to know. Yeah. Oh. They're just waiting to see if it's good. So, yeah. personally, I'd go a bit higher. Yes. Um, but that's. Wow, well, there will be a new girl being purchased over the week then. No, she's off straight away. She must be feeling comfy. Completely. That's mad to think you've gone up seven holes from your dressage saddle, but still feel. And you still go shorter. Yeah, exactly. She probably knows you're excited yeah, too. <laughs> Lola was ready then. <laughs> so, like I'm not bothered if she was to spook at that because I feel like actually I could react to you yeah. quite easily. Yeah, so as I say, the whole thing about going cross country length is that you're, you're yeah. there and your horse is moving underneath you and you're literally you're hovering over the other. All of that yeah. is literally. You need to be getting my bum back even more, really. Yeah, yeah. So you need to be low like that and you need to be jumping in position to where the knee looks placed where they are. Yeah. So they're here, literally just supporting your thigh. What I am going to see what, if we can do that is if we can just position the block slightly higher for you. Okay. So you're not terribly long here in a sense, actually your knee places. So I'd put you in a 17 and a half inch seat, short back panel, so the panel's a little bit shorter for her. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask if I can move the block slightly higher. Okay. Um, they might then suggest a 17. Is that she will every now and again chuck in like a massive buck, and that always stays in your head as well, doesn't it? But if you're that, you feel secure, that doesn't. Yeah, I mean, I mean we're going to keep you in this width. I quite like the width. We'll go for a drop panel in front just to give us an extra little bit of support. They probably won't take any more off the back, but I will get them to really softly block it just to drop you down slightly. And actually, her back muscles work really well, but overall, it's not moved a muscle even when she was rather exuberant. <laughs> <laughs> Has it gone anywhere? No, it hasn't. Even with Emily leaning to the right. <laughs> Actually, I don't think you did it so much then either. Did I not? So no. That's why we always say that eventers, you are one of you are one of the hardest people to actually have to try and saddle fit because you are a jack of all traits. But you've got to be able to do it all. So actually, you've got to be able to stretch your muscles and ride dressage, and then you've got to be able to shorten the 
for yours is about 10 holes. <laughs> so the actual way your muscles work is so different. Yeah, secure. So fast forward a little bit of time. Basically, the footage I had of Tina and I doing a little bit of a roundup at the end, it was dark outside and the lighting just was terrible on the video. And I was like, I really can't use that. So I thought I would wait till daylight and round it all up now after our very fun afternoon. Nina was so lovely, really lovely to meet her. She is so knowledgeable and really knows her stuff. She is an event rider herself, so she knows exactly what you want to have and feel out of a saddle um, in the dressage and the jumping, like she was saying. In my dressage, where she had just flocked it up ever so slightly she says it makes you feel posh and that is honestly the best way to describe it i was struggling a little bit on on how to describe the feelings but as she said feeling posh you feel like you're really sat upright it makes you just feel like you want to be elegant like you do in a dressage test and be posh yeah i'm not very good with words but <laughs> it just it felt really different and i'm i know it's very sad but i'm very excited to go schooling now and try it out and ride in it and do a proper schooling session then on to the beautiful k3 sport oh my goodness it is just the most gorgeous saddle the attention to detail the stitching all of it is just so beautiful so as you can see on the demo it had blue glitz red and black and you can also get it if you want um, just completely plain black leather as well or brown leather if you want it in brown. I've gone for the red glitz as you are aware but the feeling it gives you don't get me wrong it is a lot different to what I'm used to so I think it's going to take me a while a couple of lessons riding in it obviously longer than what I rode in it last night but the first feeling of just feeling so secure and being a mono flap you just I feel so connected to Lola I'm on her sides my legs are on constantly like they should be every stride I can feel through Lola through the saddle and it just feels amazing cannot wait for it to arrive it takes about six weeks but obviously we've got Christmas in between that <clears throat> so it could be potentially a little bit longer but what a very very exciting parcel delivery that's going to be so so excited i will be then meeting up with nina again once it's arrived because the saddle will go to nina then we'll meet up again so that she can then make sure that it is fitting how she wants it to fit to lola and myself but cannot wait for that day so exciting i feel i think overwhelmed and honored to be working with albion such an amazing brand that I have adored for a few years now with my dressage saddle and as I said earlier I have been saving up my pennies to be getting a K2 and the K3 has been been created by the reviews on the K2 because it is such a popular saddle like me trying to find a medium wide K2 second hand throughout the summer I really really struggled to find one really struggled um which is how i didn't end up getting one and then i thought i'd speak to albion and then it's all gone on from there but the k3 has been built with the same adjuster tree and a lot of people were asking for it to be mono flap so albion has delivered exactly what the customers have been asking for and have delivered a mono flap close contact k3 the big brother of the k2 basically <laughs> But yeah, super excited to be working with Elby. And also a huge thank you to Tina for coming along and recording and getting all the footage as it's going on. And yeah, watch this space for when it arrives. I'm so excited. But for now, we're off to Olympia. Again, very, very exciting. As I've been saying, this is my Christmas week. So next time you see us, we will be at Olympia. Woohoo! See you then. <laughs>